welcome to Scrapping with Sherry. I wanted to do something that I haven't done in probably about a year, but I wanted to do an album flip through to show you my Christmas album. I think it is completed now. There may be things I find on the way through that are not, but you can see this album is really, really thick because it has a lot of embellishments in it. Normally, I would split this into two albums, but because it's Christmas, I don't really want to. So let's just go through and see what we've got. You are gonna recognize tons of our sketches in this because I use lots of sketch challenges. I did do a border class using um, a lot of the Christmas papers and so you'll see a lot of those in here. This was actually a piece of paper I bought in Branson. But you're probably gonna see a lot of things you recognize in here. You'll see that I do a lot of white matting, which I show you a lot. I've done a lot of borders in here. You probably recognize that from one of the sketches. But it's very, um, very simple, I think, aside from the ideas we've done from sketches. This was a sketch, this was a sketch. Some great ideas in that sketchbook. And a lot of things that I've just shown you along the way. You will notice probably that there's not a ton of journaling in here. And I really didn't, I really didn't intend to journal a lot in this one because I did do a December daily where I journaled all the things that we did every day in December. Now, you can tell that these are in peekaboo pockets because I haven't got my page protectors on yet. I didn't want you to deal with the glare, but these will go on top of the page protectors because there's something on the back of the cards too. And these are just Christmas cards that some of our church family sent. And um, anyway, here's another um, situation where these two cards will go on top of the page protector so I can open them and read the notes inside them. And yes, we do enjoy Christmas. We do a lot of Christmas fun. This, I think, was one of the blog posts from Creative Memories, maybe. Or maybe it's just something I had leftovers and I did. I do really love the Christmas pages, though. They're so much fun. You know, eventually you get tired of working with the reds and the greens. Um, fortunately, this year there were some blues in there as well. But I do include tons of pictures, and that's one thing I talk to you about a lot, that I don't just do one or two pictures on a page typically. And, of course, as I say that, I have one picture. Here again, there'll be another peekaboo pocket on top of that page protector. This was a border that I showed on... Um, our YouTube channel. Another peekaboo pocket that will be going here just to show the progression of taking that picture. And for the most part, all I did was put the date. There's a card and I'll slide my page protector over it so it will open over the page protector. But pretty much anybody who's going to look at this album will know who the people are. And um, by just putting the date in there, it just takes care of that little bit of information. So I'm not overly concerned about that. Here again, another peekaboo pocket that will go on top of the page protector, just because those were such cute pictures. And then some journaling that I did um, using my cell phone. I typed it up in the notes and journaled. Lots of pictures. All right, so there is my Christmas album start to finish. One thing that I did this year that I don't always do is I went ahead and had a spine engraved through Creative Memories too. Let me just pull that out of the package. I typically leave my spines in the back of my album. I just slide it under those straps until the album is completed because I don't know how wide the album's gonna be and I don't wanna crease the spine until it's done. 
but I had this one embossed Christmas 2023. So this spine is ready to go on this album. And some of you may ask, well, what do you do with your leftover spines? Right now, I'm just keeping them in a closet because if someone has a spine that's damaged or, you know, they lose it for some reason or whatever, then I can just give them the one out of my album that may match and they can use it too. But I do love the spines. I don't emboss every single one of my spines, generally my travel albums and Christmas, but this album is ready to be page protector now and to go on my shelf. So thanks for watching. I hope you have a great day and happy scrapping.